Do you know who explains me better? You, uh, Joe, you know, uh, Rogan. I, and I love when he does this, when he has a comic on, because they don't want to hear about anything other than themselves. And for whatever reason, Joe gets into talking about me to a lot of these guys, and they don't want to hear it. They, they, they're they calm about it, but they don't want to fucking. And the calmer they are, the longer he talks about it. It's the greatest thing. Because people will call me and go, you got to see this clip from Rogan. Because, like, he'll, like, he talks about, you know, how comics are doing arenas today. But he goes, but Dice, when he did it, you know, it was different. It was it was an explosion it was in the an country. Explosion. It was you an know, explosion. and but but he's got no he's not like even you know, I love Howard Stern, but even Stern never laid it out the way Rogan does. You know, because it was happening when I was doing Stern, Stern was coming up. You know, he wasn't the Howard Stern of today. He was going city to city and fighting all those guys and building his career. So I was the biggest thing in the fucking country, and I had more confidence than anybody I ever met in my life. So even he would never really give it up like that, you know. But Rogan will go, hey, look, when Dice hit, it, it was, was like a bomb going it was off. like a bomb going off. You know, and it's never happening again. Don't lose that thought. I got to go pee. Keep telling Lee. All right. It's, I'm going to tell you. Well, Ari has some great stories about him opening for you and when you were talking about the audience he has he told a story on his podcast about someone asked to take a picture with you yeah and he made an eye contact with you and he just didn't get you in the picture in the frame yeah and he said that was the right thing to do well one of the that that was in the days where there were cameras that you didn't have the instant let me look at it and see if i need more which i can't fucking take and um so the comics at the store knew when they take a picture, I'm not in it, for the most part. Like, you might get a shoulder. Right, yeah. You might get an ear. But what was fun is when, like, um, the person getting the picture goes, are you pointing the camera? It looks like the <laughs> camera's a little too high. Because you might get, like, the top of their heads. Right, yeah. You know, like, I'd love to see those pictures, you know, because there's thousands of them out there, which is hysterical. Oh, I'm you sure know, there are, yeah. And we used to just crack up because it was like, it's just, you know, ridiculous. I mean, if it was somebody that was really nice and pleasant, I would I would say it like this. i go, if it was Ari, I'd go, take a good picture, like a nice oh, okay. picture. yeah. You know, but if it was some hard-on, some drunken fucking asshole that I got to say, get your hands off me, you know what I mean? Because they get very touchy, you know, you know. They'd, you know, I'd just look at them like, you know, like I'd look up at the sky or something, <laughs> and that's what the picture would be, you know, like the moon, you know. And it's just like a game you play. Just, just a like, little game with the other comments. That's so funny. You I, know? I, that, I love all that stuff. And that's also when I started filming, you know, everything, you know, with, with the comics, and I'd call it the show, and I'd come to the store with my fucking camera. And everybody had a part. Like, Ari was the antagonist. He's the one who, ever, you know, this was a whole new group of comics when you started. Well, you might have been there a couple of years before. Before that. 97. Okay. So, you know, but it was Ari and Renesisi and Maz, Maz Gibrani was the foreign comic. You know, um, Mike Marino, forever, for whatever reason, we called the Russian you know, which is hysterical. Um, Steve Simone was misery, you know, <laughs> always in a bit. But, like, you'd see, like, um, Ari talking to, like, James Painter, let's say, and going, what are you, what are you talking to Dice for? You know, <laughs> you know. And he goes, well, you know, Dice is, you know, I want to open for him. He goes, no, 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 he's nowhere. He's done. You know, like, Ari was always that guy. But he's also that guy in reality. You know how he is. He badmouths everybody. You know, like there's a scene I got where Ari's talking to Sebastian and uh, and Sebastian's going, what's Dice doing with the camera, you know, around the car? And Ari's like, well, you know, he's just, he's looking for something to do. You know what I mean? You know, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the whole fucking thing up on my YouTube channel. And now. did you direct this or did you just Yeah, no, go? I directed okay. it. You know, oh, the first scene with, with Maz Gibrani is hysterical. <laughs> Because he's, like, walking in the back parking lot, you know, 
and I'm in my leather, whatever. I'm smoking, you know. And I go, hey, you, you know. And he's going, can I help you? And I go, yeah, uh, I hear you're like from the uh, the middle or something. <laughs> and he goes, the Middle East. And I go, yeah, well, I'm from Brooklyn. And he goes, I might be coming there. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'll be waiting. And that's like his first scene into the series that never aired on anything. It was the unknown series. It's hysterical. But everybody waited to film every night. That's that's why I became friendly with Rogan, because he would ask me, like, what, what are you doing? You know, you're kicking waitresses out of the kitchen. I go, they're in my shot. <laughs> you know? He goes, what shot? What show is this? I go, it's just the show, you know? And he's like, uh, did you change all those lights? I go, yeah, I had to give it a mood. I go, it was very stark lighting, you know? He goes, the whole kitchen's red, you know? I go, red and green. Those are good colors for filming, you know, or blue, you know? Yeah, I changed all the fucking bulbs. This is during comedy store. I come up behind the guy in the original room. It was perfect because I didn't know he's this fucking ugly. <laughs> and Dave Taylor's on stage, and I come in, I got the camera, so I'm seeing Taylor in the back of this guy's head, and I'm going, hey, hey, asshole face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whispering, you know, and there's no reason. I go, asshole face, because <laughs> I just wanted to call that to somebody, you know, and this ugly motherfucker, ugly never wins in this world, I got to tell you. The, one of the ugliest guys I ever fucking saw. It was perfect. Because when he turned around, I'm like, he really does have a face like a fucking asshole. And I go, you want to come with me a minute? You know? <laughs> and I take him outside and I get him on film, okaying. I go, this is for my TV show. You know, so you got to say your name and that it's okay to use the footage because you're part of the show now. He's an audience member. The guy paid to come into the comedy store. And I'm treating the whole comedy store like it's my set. You know, and it went on for months and months. Uh, my son Dylan, who was nine, tells off Ari while they're playing that stupid game up in the office. The What is that game? Foosball. 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 Whatever the fuck that people waste their life on. <laughs> so, you know, Ari's playing with Dylan. Dylan's nine years old, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and Ari's like, you know, I don't think your dad's funny. You know, he's playing the game. And Dylan's like, what was that? You know, and he goes, I said... I don't think your dad is funny, you know? And Dylan just goes, do you ever play the forum? You know, like just asking him questions. Did you ever do the uh, Mecca in Milwaukee? You know, and Ari's like, what? He goes, have you ever, you know, done multiple nights? Like Dylan knew a bunch of fucking shit and he's burying this man, you know? And Ari's looking at him going, you know, I work, you know, and Dylan just throws like giant fucking things I did. And then the next scene is I grab Ari by his throat in the kitchen because <laughs> he took a piece of pizza that I went out to get Eleanor after she screamed at me that I couldn't find her a chicken sandwich because I was going with her at the time, you know, you know, and, and while she's screaming at me, a whole lot of love is on in the background. And you see different comics walk in and stopping, like Sebastian, you know, bewildered, comes walking into the kitchen, like, what the fuck is going on? Ren is easy, puts down boxes to see that I'm getting late. And then it cuts to Mike Marino, you know, going, he's on the phone, he goes, I gotta go, because he's the Russian. And, and that's the end of the scene. So by the time I got the pizza, you know, I was just done. So when Ari took a piece, I just grab him by the throat and slam him against the wall and go, put the fucking pizza down. It's not your pizza. Because he's a pizza thief. You know? <laughs>